Hello and welcome to another tutorial by me, Hevs Hill. This one is going to be on how to make fireworks because it's a Guy Fawkes special. Um, you may even hear fireworks going off in the background. Um, that's what the popping and stuff in the background is. Um, so yeah, so we're going to create a couple basic kinds of fireworks here. The um, spinning Susans, I think they're called, or something like that. And um, and of course the, the ones that go off in the air and go BOOM! Um, so, what we're going to be doing first is we're going to delete our default cube, sorry, hit delete our default cube, go to top view, and um, we're going to be creating the spinning one first, so spread space, add mesh, and you want to add the circle. Um, now depending how many um, side wheely things you want for yours, um, depends how many vertices you type in here. I think I'm going to have six. Okay. Um, so now basically to make it spin, obviously we need to press I, um, location rotation scale, and just go up a few frames, to say 200, and if you press N, and go into these properties here, and go to the Z rotation, and you make it something like uh, 900, and then I, location rotation scale. So that should rotate through our animation. It doesn't spin very fast, but it'll speed up and then it'll slow down again. Um, so that'll work well. And um, then what we need to do is make it emit the particles. Now, you can make it look like whatever you like, but um, the main thing to make it look like a firework is um, the materials. Um, but we're first we're going to just do our particle system. Now to add particles, if you've never done them before, is you simply go to object buttons and then particles which is this sort of thingy here and um, you want to go add new system and um, because this firework is one of those constant ones sort of and throws stuff out as it's spinning um, you just want to leave everything here as is um, except you want to turn up the normal and um, because this object doesn't have any faces normally the normal would throw out from a face but because this doesn't have any faces it will go from the verts but you want to change that to verts anyway just just in case um, so now if we press alt a <coughs> sorry, turn on random and then press alt a you can see it's spinning and putting out our fireworks now um it doesn't really look very fireworky, so I'm just going to change mine up by adding say about three normal. Yeah, that's looking pretty good. Um, then what we want to do is we want to um, give them a bit of random because the fireworks don't always go the way they're supposed to. Um, uh, but yeah, so um. So once you've done that and done some random and some normal, they should be looking pretty good like mine are. Then what you want to do is you want to go over here to our materials tab and you want to add a new material. Now um, with um, particles, uh, you want to turn on halo so that you can access what the particles will actually be looking like. Um, I prefer using the cube view to any of these other ones because it's the most sort of realistic shows you the best what you're going to see or you can use the plain one um, but yeah so fireworks we're going to have mine as sort of a yellowy color and um, then if you go here to shaders you can set the size of yours um, how hardness the hardness which is basically um so you can see it's sort of you, know, you just got to have a fit around I like mine to be a quite hard on the hardness thing and you want to turn on lines that'll make it sort of look all sparkly and also stars as well looks pretty good um, you can go over here and um, these colors are for the halo sort of like the background thing then um, lines are obviously the lines if you added lines you might want to change the color of them slightly uh, just to say I might do an orange color and rings will change to maybe a red color. Um, so yeah, so if I was to just go up a few frames by pressing the up key, 
And I'm going to elixir. And go to zero. And put F12 to render. They are really too big. So, um, it's all about fiddling with it, really, and just sort of getting it the way you want it. But mine are a little big, so if I just turn that down, and I may also want to turn add up. Now, what add does is pretty cool, is it um, makes them so that they merge together, so that if you have multiples together, they will sort of bond and stuff. So, yeah, so um, we've got our spinning firework now, and... Um, next one we want to do is have the one that shoots up. Now the best way to do that is to simply have um, a uh, UV sphere so space add sorry not UV, isosphere and you want to turn up the subdivisions a lot to say 6, ok ok 6 was a little much but it'll work but maybe 5 or 4 um, so yeah so you have that, and you want to make it quite small, so scale it to say 0 0.05, that's pretty tiny, and um, then you want to give it its own particle system here, so add new particle system, um, emit from faces, and yeah, random from faces, and even jitted, whatever, um, and just make sure the normal's up a bit, obviously. And then another thing you want to do is turn the random up, and over here you want to change the start to the same frame as the end. And that'll mean that it'll pump out all the particles at once, giving that sort of explosion effect. Uh, so then what you want to do is you want to go into your um, materials here, and you can make your own material for... Um, so that it's different from our spinning one, but I'm just going to make it the same. Um, so, so, just by clicking that, it'll change to it, awesome. And um, then what we want to do is we want to go back to our particles thing here, and um, you want to know what frame that is, so fr it's frame 100 where it explodes. Um, I think that would be a good frame. Actually, maybe I'll make it um, frame 50. You gotta change the style one first. Um, so if you make it frame 50, and then um, go down to frame one, and press I, location, rotation, scale, and then um, sort of make it fly up, and then press I, location, rotation, scale, and um, you want to make sure you turn on emitter up here, and what that'll do is it'll make that sort of like you know sometimes when the big ones go up, you see sort of a tiny little, um, the little firework that's carrying all that go up before it explodes, um, so you'll be able to see that effect. And so, sorry, <laughs> grab it, move it back down. You have to make sure that you change frames. Uh, so. Move it back to its original position. Uh, press I, look at the original frame. Uh, go up to frame 50, which is where it explodes, and then we want to grab it and move it up into the sky to about there, say. And I, location, rotation, scale. And um, then we'll just grab our camera and move it back a bit and move it up a bit. Yeah. So now I'll go back to frame 1, got to make sure you're on frame 1, and press Alt A, and that will bake your um, particles for the exploding one. Awesome. So now that you have your two fireworks, you can go ahead and render them. Um, you may want to move the camera around a bit more just so that it catches the whole thing. <laughs> I've got mine there, and I'm going to render it, and, um, so I render the animation, and I'll pause this video. Okay, well that's all finished, and as you can see, here's my final render. Um, unfortunately, the, uh, da -da -da, the emitter for our firework is still showing up, I forgot about that. Um, might be best actually to have that hidden. Um, but yeah, other than that, it looks like a, a pretty good thing for... Um, couple minutes work and um, 
yeah, I think that's about it for this um, Guy Fawkes special tutorial. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned a little about the um, particle system. And um, I look forward to showing you a few more in-depth things with it later on.